Hey everybody, TPG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we helped Sly achieve his ultimate dream by getting a date with Carmelita. We also basically made off like bandits with Clockwork's wings from Rajan's palace. However, Rajan somehow managed to slip away in all the chaos and made his way deep into the jungles of India. And of course, knowing us, we gotta go after him because judging by this splash page, Clockwork's wings weren't the only thing he got his claws on, so let's head out. It took some detective work, but the gang and I managed to track down where Rajan had gone into hiding. Somehow, he'd managed to transform a long-forgotten temple into the thriving center of his spice operation. And it's there where we'll find him. The jungle, too thick to drive through, forced us to walk the long distance to our target. We ran into a few problems along the way but pushed on. For the temple was more than just Rajan's hideout. It was also home to the clockwork heart. A pump so strong and tireless, it could increase spice production tenfold. Good for Rajan, but awful for the rest of the world. Hope he's not counting on that heart too much, because tonight, it comes home with me. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. We also got a pretty complex area layout as well as some new gadgets to play with. So, before we get started with Sly, I want to jump to ThiefNet because, well, we got some money that we can burn, so might as well go over the gadgets that we can get. So, we got the Snooze Bomb, which is Bentley's gadget. Uh, it's basically just a good guard deterrent. You can drop it behind you if guards are chasing after you and will put them to sleep almost immediately. Honestly, though, I've never found myself using it. Honestly, I just prefer to run away from guards rather than set traps for them or just hit them with the sleep dart. It's up to you guys. Juggernaut Throw is probably one of Murray's best gadgets in the entire game. Basically, anytime you throw or slam any guards or any, like, bosses that you have to fight with Murray, uh, basically, it releases a shockwave that affects all other surrounding guards. Stealth Slide is okay, I guess. It just basically lets you go around the levels fast with Sly, also without alerting any guards, but unfortunately, with how vertical and how acrobatic Sly is, I never find myself using it. But either way, I'm going to grab what we need. I'm going to grab both of Sly's and Murray's gadgets because, well, I really just want to have Murray's gadget with us. Although, I don't think we actually get to use Murray until, like, very late into the episode. But for now, I want to just show a little bit of the level. As you can see, it's a bit of a confusing mess. As much as I love this game, I love this to no end, I'm not the biggest fan of this level. It's just a little too sporadic for my taste, and the locations of the bottles in this area are kind of out there. Also, there's only like a few, like, I guess you could use as uh, monuments or like buildings as reference points because, uh, get out of here. Uh, just there's so many hills and so many things getting in your way. There's only like a few things I could really reference to get my bearings and such. Like the very wiggly tree back there. Honestly, I always found that to be really weird. Uh, you got Rajan's like main building over there. And then you got the giant teetering tower over there. Which is the reference point for the right side of the map. Ooh, what do you got? Come on, give me something good. Silver. Hmm. With that, sir, you must die. I'm sorry. There was no other choice. First things first, though, we want to grab the bottle that's down here, and hopefully that guard did not hear me, although... Uh, I feel like this guy's going to hear me. I'm going to wait till his light goes away. Oh. Uh, okay, buddy. See ya. Don't know why you're running all the way down here instead of just investigating where the sound was heard, but all right, get out of my way. 
want to go? Well, I kind of want to just go around and help people get some bearings of this level as hard as it is. But uh, where we really need to go is over by, like, the big main waterfall area here to the far left. But I want to see if I can get a decent number of clue bottles before we head out because... The safe in this area is actually pretty early in the level if you choose it to be, and I just want to go in prepared so that way we don't have to deal with it uh, later. Also, the location of the safe is involved with a very annoying quest and very infamous for this game, but we'll get to it when I sadly have to get to it. Right, just gonna avoid the elephant. There's only one elephant that patrols here, unlike uh, the palace grounds where there's two elephants. Honestly, for the longest time, I always thought three elephants patrolled Rajan's palace, one on the outside and two on the inside, but I was wrong. It was always just one elephant. Alright, grab that. And where do I want to go? I guess I can slowly start making my way over to the job site. Although, I probably should hop up here because there is a clue bottle tucked not down there, but all the way back back here at the main doors of the elephant building. Yes, this thing is actually modeled by a giant elephant. Uh, let's see, there's one of the treasures over there. I think two of the three treasures in this area are rigged with bombs, so it's gonna be fun getting those back to the safe house. However, uh, I feel like maybe we can get one back with, like, Murray or Bentley. I'm not decided on who to get, grab one of the treasures with, though. I'm guessing maybe Murray, because he hasn't had a treasure associated with him yet. Ooh, gold pen. All right, take you out. All right, is there any other place I want to go and do cleanup before I head to the job site? Are there any other bottles? I thought I heard a clinking earlier. Hello? Uh, can I make that jump? Yes, I can. It's so like kind of gravitates to whatever he does the spire jump to, which is actually a bit of a lifesaver if you find yourself in a perilous situation. Other times, Sly can go and spire jump all the way to the worst areas. Sneak into the temple. Now take some recon photos so I can assess the situation. Just be careful. If you get hurt, the nearest hospital is 106 miles from here. According to my map of the area, there should be a hidden passage into the temple behind that waterfall. Nice work, Bentley. I'll take a hidden passage over the front door any day. <sighs> you gotta give Sucker Punch the, so much credit. They're geniuses when it comes to hiding innuendos in their games. Like, it wasn't until a practice playthrough of mine for this series that I never was able to catch the fact that that was actually a double entendre. Good on you guys. There's actually a really good one later at the in the game, or I should probably say at the very end of the game. And it's so well hidden. It is so good that I'm honestly surprised that I could not catch it my first, like, half dozen times playing this game. I, I was very innocent back in the day, as you can tell. All right. Bingo, you found a spice growing facility. Now, from what I know of photosynthesis, all the expensive equipment should be found at the top of this room. That access tube should get you up there. All right, I'll head for the top. I don't know about you, Bentley, but looking around this place, oh, everything here looks really expensive. So how can you tell that the most expensive stuff is all the way at the very top of the building? And well, I'm not an architect, so I would know things that... Well, he's a demolition expert, so it's probably how he knows all the the good stuff at the very top. Right, uh, let me see. I want to see if I can... Never mind, then. I was going to see if I could actually take out these guards uh, without getting into a fight with at least one of them. Because it is doable, although my terrible pickpocketing skills kind of gave me away. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like any of the other guards had shinies in their pockets, so uh, they're free game, basically. Alright, uh, let's see. Over here, we got a couple flashlight guards. I know how to easily deal with them. Uh, the puzzle right here, for the longest of times, actually stumped me as a kid. 
I never knew that there was actually like a thief sensor thing. I thought uh, what you saw trickling at the bottom of that barrel there was just water trickling out. But no, the way to actually get up through this little elevator system is to spire jump into these as they dip into the water and then just basically ride it up, even though the guard has his light trained entirely on this conveyor system. So, let's wait for another one to come by. There we go. Uh, now, even though Sly is perfectly visible, also slightly drowned, and he should be caught big time by this guard right here, the guard must be very nearsighted because you're able to just ride this thing all the way over to here and get dropped off. My first time ever playing this, I never knew that that was a thief sense thing, and I again, I thought that was just water drip clean out of the bottom of the barrels because those don't look really, well, watertight. So what I did was I just jumped onto the barrel and rode it up, and I don't remember exactly what happened, but I think what I did was just take a hit. Some of the vines around here are really slippery. Jump and hit the circle button to go for a ride. Yeah, I basically just tanked a hit to get up there, was out of range of the guard because he's stuck on that little platform, and just made my way up to the recon site. Here we go. Time for a few recon photos. Alright, what do we got? Alright, got a good picture of Rajan, the crane controls, Clockwork's heart, and the entrance to this area. Well, first things first, might as well go to the heart of the operation. Looks like half of the heart is being used to super irrigate the spice plants. Bentley, I think you meant super fertilize because doesn't irrigation mean, you know, water and such? I don't know. Mm, that crane is keeping half of the heart suspended. Indeed it is. If only there was an easy way to get it down. Looks like a very deadly bludgeoning instrument. I probably should keep my distance. There's the entrance to this level. Only I can't figure out how to get in here from the temple's exterior. Hmm. Bring those photos back to the safe house. We'll really need to think about this one. The clockwork heart is under some steep security. Heck, Rajan is carrying half of it at all times. Forget it, the goods. I'll need to gather some more information. Sly will plant a bug in Rajan's office while I lift the spice operation blueprints off the spice lord while he makes his rounds. Unfortunately, while we're collecting intelligence on him, He'll be collecting data on us with an elephant-driven satellite array. Take it out, or he'll be able to intercept all of our communications.